So in my hand right here, I have five different baits. Two of them are the same. There's two white swim baits. Then I've got a creature bait, a little bandito bug there. I have a Beast Coast baits, Miyagi swimmer, and a Cinco. And all of these I'm gonna remelt using nothing but a lighter and we're gonna see if we can catch fish on them. So let's go ahead and start remelting them. All right, so we got our five baits here. I think I'm gonna start with this bandito bug here. It's torn at the top of the bait, as you can see, just from being used a bunch. So we're gonna remelt that. I think it should turn out okay. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried remelting your plastics like this. I'm mostly interested. I haven't really ever heard of anybody doing this, but I figured I'd give it a try. We'll see how this works. It's already like melding together. I didn't even have to push it together or anything. But the plan here is that using this lighter, it's just gonna melt the plastic, soften it up, and then hopefully sort of make it reform and come together. I think it's gonna work. We're just gonna have to see. I think we're almost done with this one already. It's already sticking together pretty well. We'll just let this one sit and we'll go ahead and get started with our swim bait here. Probably, but we're probably going to need to do more melting for each of these baits. We're just sort of getting a start, seeing if they'll hold together just by how much I've melted them so far. Now we got our Cinco here. It's like torn in the middle. And is it torn at the top too? Yeah, it's torn at the top and the middle. So got to melt those parts back together. Now we got our Miyagi swimmer left. I already started to melt it back together. You probably can't see. But up there at the top of the bait, I already start to remelt it and then I need to do right here where it's a little bit torn. There actually is a tear back here as well. So yeah, we're gonna melt this one real quick and then we're gonna get moving, see if we can catch a fish on it. All right, we finished melting all five of our baits right here. I don't wanna drop them. They're actually still a little bit wet because I literally just finished, but we're gonna head out to the water. I think we can catch something on them. They're pretty much brand new. They look a little beat up still, but some of them you can't even tell there's really been any sort of damage to them. Like for example, this bait right here, Miyagi Swimmer, you probably can't see, I'm hoping it's focusing. Miyagi Swimmer right there, it has a tear in the tail, but I went ahead and melted that back together and it just looks like there's a little nick in it. And you would never really know that it was literally torn in half. So that's one bait, it looks a lot better. All of these look a lot better. I'm excited to test them out. I think we can catch a few. So we'll see you all out in the water. So we are here at the spot, as you can tell, it's right behind me. Got overcast conditions and it's a little bit windy, but it looks good for fishing. I think we'll catch them today. Probably gonna start off with the white swim bait. I think it'll work well. With all that being said, we'll throw on the chest mount and get started. So as I said, we're gonna throw the swim bait first here. As you can tell, it's still a little beat up there, the top of the bait, but it's like holding together, so I don't think it's gonna break too soon. We're gonna go ahead and rig it on here. Oh, it broke. Well, good thing we brought our lighter here. Melt it up a little bit more, try to get it to stick together. Okay, I think that's gonna work. It looks a little raggedy, but uh, let's see, we'll give it a try. See a little bit of movement back here in this area. Oh yeah, already. There we go. little guy and our white swim bait here there we go took way longer than it should have and he's already back there he goes okay one bait knocked out that literally took like an hour should not have taken that long oh we knocked this one out i think we're gonna go over to the cinco this bait turned out pretty decent too nice little texas rig cinco just cast it out there and dead stick it. I already got one on me. Now he's starting to fight. I didn't even know I had a fish. Just that little dead stick. A little bit healthier fish here. It's our Cinco already knocked off. Give him a little toss back. 
There we go. I think I'm gonna go with a little bandito bug here. That also melted pretty well, except for there, I guess. Gotta catch one on this bait. And once we, once we finish with this bait, there'll be one more to fish with. That, ooh. There's a fish. There we go. That is three of the four baits that we have knocked off now. All right, ball number two. We had to switch spots because that last one didn't hold big enough fish and also we switched up rods because this one more comfortably handles a bait of this size. Yeah, also this bait is looking a lot better. I'll go ahead and throw in some B-roll of what the bait looked like before and now. The head of the bait is almost completely sealed over and it's holding a screw lock swim bait hook pretty well. Also near the back of the bait, you can see there's still a little hole in the back, but that originally was a tear, like literally in half. So this bait wouldn't have been able to work if I hadn't used that lighter to seal it up. But yeah, this is the last one starting to rain a little bit. We're gonna see if we can knock this final bait off, hopefully on a big fish. Ooh. Pardon that little backlash there. Oh my gosh. Well, that might be a sad ending to this video. That's unfortunate. All right, so that's sort of an ending I didn't intend. I thought I was gonna catch a fish on that last bait. It was sort of user error for having a backlash and then the bait flung off. I thought I did a good job melting it. I thought it would stay together, but guess not. But I did catch three fish on three of the other baits, so I pretty much accomplished my goal. I'd hope to just get a few more uses out of the baits and that worked. So I may use this method again. Let me know in the comments if you ever tried anything like this. I mean, I never really heard of it, so I figured I'd give it a try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and we'll see you on the next one.